I'm so bummed. A new 7200 RPM hard drive is gonna cost me a fortune. But I need the performance, so I'm gonna have to bite the bullet on this. Hey Nate, you seem frustrated. Hey, yeah, I'm trying to buy a new hard drive. I've, I've got an old three-year-old hard drive. It's dying on me, but it's 7200 RPM, so I need to get a new 7200 RPM hard drive. I got a surprise for you. What's that? Before I can discuss it though, let's talk about a hard drive and how it really is made up and what the format is and how it works. I sense that you're about to get very technical on me. Just a bit. <sighs> A hard drive has rotating discs with many tracks from OD to ID. We refer to that as tracks per inch or TPI. We also have bits that go around the disc which we refer as BPI. Bits per inch. Exactly. Okay. With, so with tracks per inch and bits per inch we can describe the format which a drive will have. Now let's talk about 5400 versus the 7200 RPM. Uh, you're not listening to me. I don't want a 5400 RPM hard drive. I'm replacing a 7200 RPM hard drive. It's about the speed, cats. I need the speed. Give me a minute uh, to prove you wrong. All right, you're on the clock. 5400 revolutions per minute, and 7200 is 7200 revolutions per minute. So if we were to say all things being equal, the 7200 is going to pop that data off the disk faster. That's what I'm saying. Hold on, I have some time left. It's very dependent on how many bits there are on each track. Also, how many tracks. So if we're gonna talk about performance, we're gonna have to talk about not only spindle speed, but we're gonna have to talk about bit rate and throughput, which is how fast data is coming off of the disk and getting delivered. Uh. Let's see if we can't keep it simple. Thank you. Try to follow with me. Let's give you an analogy. You have a sports car. I do? Is it a convertible? Okay, a convertible. Cool. And you have a truck that can carry a lot of data. You have a whole bunch of data that you need to move from point A to point B. The race car will take multiple trips to get that data, but the truck will be able to carry all the data to your destination. So, in re relation to a disk drive, think about one rotation of the disk will be able to carry all the data to your destination. So you're saying that it's about the number of bits that can come off the disk in one rotation that delivers the performance. It's not just about the speed, very good. Huh. So there are two things to increase your throughput. One, you can increase the spindle speed. Or two, you lower the spindle speed but increase the bit density. If the density were increased by two times for just one rotation and leave all other factors the same... Then a 7200 RPM hard drive could spin at 3600 RPMs and deliver the same performance. Which means that my new 5400 RPM hard drive is going to deliver better than my old 7200 RPM hard drive. <laughs> yes! So the advantage now of 5400 RPM is the drive will generate much less heat, huh. has less power, will have better wear and tear on the heads for better quality. Wow, that's all awesome. And at a lower cost. I'll take it. Thank you so much. How do you know all this about hard drives? I read a lot.